Hi and welcome to the third part of the tutorial. Um, we're going to export and run it in tool. Um, add sky and dying weapons in Gorilla. And um, run radiosity in tool and populate the map in Sapien. Um, I did actually do most of that um, while I was recording, but my um, computer kind of crashed on itself. It's still kind of slow now, so I'm sorry about this. But um, what you do is you just export to .jms as everyone knows or whatever from Max. You need to link um, this to the frame, then export. My map is called um, Clickshin. Um, Clickshin .jms in models and uh, um, levels in data levels Clickshin and then export. And then in tool, you see I've already done all this. Look, you type um, tool structure levels Clickshin space collection and then tool light maps levels collection slash collection so um space collection space zero space zero point nine then gorilla you before you do radio in 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 tool which is the light maps one you add um the um sky sorry I know it's running slow it's because I have sapien up and um, you add the sky here, look, and then you had the starting weapons here, which is all games except CFDF, assault rifle, and pistol. And down here we have plasma pistol for CTF. Okay, and when you've done all that, and then you've typed in that in tool and run it through Radiosity, you open Sapien, and it will look something like this, but I've done a lot of scenery placement as you can see. Uh, looks like that right now. Okay. I know the cliffs are a little bit sharp and things, but um, you see, I've done scenery placement, I've done vehicle placement, which is all basic things to do in Sapien. So I won't go through all those again. Um, okay. Yeah. Race is set up. Um, hills are set up. Oddballs set up. Um, yeah, it's everything set up there. Now all I need to do is um, do player spawns. Um, I know this is going really, really, really fast, um, but I didn't really want to go through much detail on this one. And what? By the time I was recording last time, I was up to something like um, I think it was about 25 minutes. So this one will be cut down immensely. Because this is the second, my second try. At, um, this third part of the tutorial. So, okay. This is basically built for about eight to sixteen players, I would say. And uh, sixteen would be quite crazy, but um, it's still good. Um. The last map, Zyklon, was built for about two players a side. So, okay, just placing spawn points and stuff now. Do that. Um, we've done that. We have placements for everything else. Um, all we really need to do is place weapons. Before I do that, I'll just show you quickly around the map. There's a tank there, a rocket warthog, and a, and a chain gun warthog there, um, an L A A G chain gun hog turret there. And a banshee there. The turret there is from the ghost. He released his tags. Um, there's a ghost there. Go along here. Another ghost there, which is blue bases tank, rocky warthog, um, chain gun warthog turret, and banshee. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just place a few weapons. We don't really need that many. Um, 
what I'll place a few weapons here and there. Okay. Um, place a shotgun there. Another shotgun there. Um, going to place a sniper rifle there. Um, at the front here I'll place a pistol and then here I'll place a pistol. You can place a few weapons here as well if you want. Pistol and a pistol at the other side. Here. Okay. I'm not gonna go crazy with um, weapons on here. Whoops. CPU went a bit crazy then. Um, flamethrower. Place a flamethrower there. S quickly skip over to this side of the map. Place a the flamethrower there. This is mainly a vehicle map, so I'm not placing much in the amount of um, weapons. I'm not even pla placing an assault rifle on the map because, well, I would expect people to all use um, vehicles and things. Um, weapon placement done. Um, I have sound and a sound environment, and I have wind as well. Okay, so that's everything really to do with the map. Um, I don't really need to do much more anything else on with the map. Um, I actually quite like it myself. Um, as you can see, um, I put beam emitters with device machines on there. I didn't really want, I didn't think I really had to go through all this with you guys because, um, I don't think you even get on top of the map with the Banshee, which is good. Um, this map is Clickshin. I will be released with these tutorials. Um, if you have any other requests for tutorials, please do, um, say so. Um, Alpha Dragon of I'd like to thank all the support from I'd like to thank everyone who supported me at the um Gearbox forums. Um Scooby Doo um thinks it's funny when I say retard and he likes he also thinks it's funny when I say crisps. Crisps is the American equivalent of what you call chips. We call chips fries. Well, our chips are fries. Whatever. You know what I mean. I probably wouldn't know all this except for I've been to New York, so that's the only reason I know all this. Anyway, um, this is um, Clickshin. As you can see, I'm above the um, sky barrier. And see, look, <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to fit a banshee through, which is good. Um, yeah, this is um, Clickshin, and um, it will be released, be released with this tutorial. I'd like to thank Bungie for the um, base models which I extracted with Spark Edit. Um, and I'm amazed I actually textured this so fast I'm out of I was out of breath when I did the second part. So, um, yeah. I hope this helped everyone again. I hope my last tutorial also helped everyone. Um, I know I'm releasing these tutorials really fast, and if you don't like that, please do tell me. But I am trying to just help the community, so. Yeah, okay, so this is Clickshin, um, I'm Fire Dragon 4 hope this helps, and um, see you around.